her and there. It's uh, it's a medley. I you know the first part just kind of came together and it it really goes. It's it's very directional. You know, it's uh, rising and specifically rising. It kind of keeps building on itself and it rises so quickly in such a short time it has to both there there needs to be a letdown and I, I think that letdown is up at a very high elevation in an airplane looking down you know and thinking back and I think that's how you know maybe her in there you know that's how relationships go you know they start off fast often and then then you know they have a life cycle and sometimes the life cycle is short and then time passes and you think back about it and I think that's what's happening up in the airplane and then landing you know and the reality of it all is, you know, that initial transcendent electricity that enveloped the relationship, it lives on, it lingers in your mind. I, I think it's a happy song, really, I mean, you know, it's almost the opposite of Keats' The Gretchen Urn, where the guy is on the vase and always just about to get touch the, um, you know, his his love interest right right there. But Keats realizes, wow, it's on this urn. How tragic! He'll never achieve that. I think in some cases. This is just the opposite. The protagonist is so far away in distance and time, but somehow, you know, beautifully it lives on in his mind and motivates the protagonist. So, I, I think it's happy. And it, it was a medley, you know, it just the parts kind of fell together and I think at some level they, they it defies being a medley because maybe a medley you think of different characters and different storylines and you just kind of patch them all together but in this case I think it makes a really in, 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 integrated whole you know and it loops back around at the end so it almost has a chorus quality to it I And, you know, it, it just came, it came together. I, um, at some point it just, I think I, I, I wrote it down and then I, know, I thought it out and then I wrote it down, then I wrote down the other part and then I worked the chords on it and I don't know, then I let it set for a week or three or four and then I just went back and I said, oh no, that's, that's done, that's, uh, I'd like to get it done and, and move on to something else. So, but I, I think it works, and I think the video helped really bring it together. And uh, you know, I, I like the idea in the video. It's kind of the role of you know when you think about a relationship, it's often beautiful, like those natural um, scenic nature views. You know, I think. Uh, somehow invokes the memory and when you look out at a on a view you know you often think about somebody you know they're out there even though they're not out where you're looking they're kind of in the viewscape of your mind so you know relationships linger and you know you think about people um, and I think that's what this song's about. And I think it's a fun song. I think it has 
probably play it better, but you know, I thought it was good enough. Her and there. And there's a play on here and there. Here and there. It's her and there. So, and it's dedicated to, you know, getting there and, and finding her. Uh, even if you're there, even if there is here and you're, you're standing right in front of her. It's just, you know. How, how, how do you say in touch? <laughs>